Hello my YouTube friends, do you want to use your phone as a webcam or possibly as a second camera for your OBS broadcast? Today I'm going to show you how to do it with any phone, Apple or Android, any machine, Mac or PC, and no software or app to install at all. Oh, and there's a huge bonus feature you are not going to believe, so you're going to want to stick around to the end to check that out. So let's get to it! If you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better YouTuber, subscribe to the channel and click that bell so you don't miss any new content. Possibly the best webcam you can use for your live broadcast is the camera built into your phone. And for a long time, it's been a big pain in the butt to use your phone as a webcam in OBS. But now OBS Ninja has come along and changed all of that. Here's how it works. OBS Ninja is a web app, and I can't be sure how secure it really is, if I'm being honest. But I can offer a solution that can make it secure on both your computer and your phone. And that solution is a VPN feature that's included with today's sponsor program, and that's Speedify. Speedify is a software program designed to help guarantee that your live streams will never fail or lose connections. No more stream urgencies. All you need to do is install the software on your computer and your phone, then plug your phone into your computer before your live stream. And if the main connection has any issues at all or becomes unstable, Speedify automatically switches over to your cell connection to keep your live stream from getting disconnected or buffering. It's freaking awesome. And the VPN the end feature included will protect you from potential insecure programs like possibly OBS Ninja. If you're a live streamer, you should definitely check out Speedify. There's a link in the description. I never live stream without it. Here's the OBS Ninja website. It's pretty simple. First thing we're going to do is go over here to create reusable invite. And here we can name our media source. In this case, it's going to be iPhone camera. So I'll just call it my iPhone. And you can go down here and set up some different stuff. And this all has to do with the quality of the connections and that sort of thing that you might be dealing with. So you can enable stereo and HD audio and all that kind of stuff. I'm gonna set the video resolution to max and I'm gonna unlock the bit rate. And I'm going to go ahead down here you can see you can set a password and add a guest to the room, all kinds of different stuff, but that's all we need to do. I'm just going to generate the link and this is the one I'm going to copy to send to my phone. And here I am on my iPhone and I'm in my email program. And when I open that email, I see that link that I just sent to myself. All I have to do is click on that and it's gonna open up in my browser. And I can click on this button here that says share my camera. And the uh, iPhone is going to ask me if I want to allow that. And I can just click OK to share the microphone and camera. And you see it comes up right here. That's the front camera. And I'm just going to turn it this way. And now I can scroll down and see that I can use headphones if I'd like to be listening through headphones, which is going to be smart if I don't want a lot of feedback or I'm using multiple microphones. And I can drop this down and select no audio, which is what I'm going to do because I'm going to use a second microphone instead of the one that's built into my iPhone. And there we go. All we have to do is click start and now we're started. But I want to change my settings, so I'm going to go ahead and click this little gear button down here at the bottom, and I'm going to change the front camera to the back camera. And once I do that, you can see the camera flips around, and now I just have to get it all situated right up in here, and we're ready to go. Once it's set up on your phone, we can just configure it in OBS. So we're going to grab this link, the OBS browser source link, and then we're going to flip over into OBS. Once we're in OBS, we're going to click the plus next to sources for our scene, and we're going to go to browser. I'm going to call this my camera or something to that effect, my iPhone, that works. And we're going to click OK. Now I am just going to paste that URL we just got from the website right in here. And I'm going to set my width to 1920 and my height to 1080, which is the resolution on the phone. Now, if you're going to be using your phone audio, you're gonna to wanna to click Control Audio via OBS. I am not, but you can. And then I'm gonna click OK. After a moment or two, the camera comes up. You can see it works fantastic. I'm going to show you how to add your own audio source if you'd like. Turn off this light here. There we go. Now you can kind of see me. And we're gonna add this microphone that I just pointed to right there. So I'm gonna click the plus, go to audio input capture. And I'm just gonna name my microphone here. 
I'm going to drop down this default device and select the microphone that I want to use and click OK. So now I have a working microphone and I'm using that with my iPhone image. I'm going to add a second scene here and click the plus and I'm going to go and add another video camera. So this one is going to be my main camera. It's the one I always use. And click OK. And drop this down and select the cam link. And you could do this if you want to have multiple cameras on your scene. Maybe you're using the iPhone to show what you're doing on the desk or something like that. And I just want to show you how to do it just in case. So I'm going to use the same microphone and there we go. We're all set up. And now if I switch scenes, we go from one camera to the other. It's really smooth. You can see there's no real lag. Now I move the camera back to next to my other main camera. And I just want to show you how you would crop this up because obviously your phone cameras are pretty wide. So if you click the Alt key and you just drag these little points, you can drag these points to a location where you can cut all kinds of different stuff out of your scenes. And I'm going to basically kind of make this look similar to what I already have with my main camera. And you can see, obviously, when you're using your cell phone, the lighting is completely different than what you would normally get. And that just means that I'd have to adjust the lighting in some way to make it look better. My lights are set up for a DSLR, definitely not set up for phone camera. So if I flip back and forth there, you can see the differences between the two cameras. Now, if I wanted to go ahead and adjust the lighting in some way, what I could do is go and right click on the iPhone, go to filters, and then in effect filters, I click this plus and I go to color correction. And here in color correction, I can adjust the contrast and the brightness so that I can make it look a little bit more appealing. When I adjust the brightness, my saturation kind of goes crazy. So I'm gonna turn that down a little bit and there you can see it. it looks pretty good it's certainly not perfect and i still probably would adjust the lights before i use the color correction but just so you know there are ways that you can do this right here in the software if you wanted to adjust it now you can see when i switch back and forth between the two scenes they look pretty similar now i mentioned a huge bonus feature that you can do with obs ninja and this is really awesome you can use it to connect guests to your live stream from anywhere in the world using their cell phone and the microphone that's built right into it here's how you do it in order to use obs ninja to add a guest it's really easy you use the same process that we already used which is to send that invite only instead of sending it to ourselves we're going to send it to the person that we want to add as a guest and once we do that and they have that already there all we have to do is copy out that link but let's configure up our screen a little bit so we can handle our guest I'm gonna go ahead and shrink my camera up here and move it over to the side I'm just gonna add a little bit of text here so that you guys understand what I'm doing and we're gonna add the me text and click OK and I just need to go to text here and add me and then click OK again and I can move this into place now I'm going to add the other camera and this will be coming from whoever you sent that link to so I just click this plus and I'm gonna to go to browser and I'm gonna call this one guest you can name it whatever you want click OK I'm going to paste that browser link in here just like we did in the first one. I'm going to put my guest's camera size in here and I'm going to go ahead and click the control audio via OBS because obviously I wanna get my guest's audio and this is the only way to do it. Then I just click okay and there we go. Our guest is added. I can shrink their box up any way I want to put it in an overlay or whatever I might've already created. And I'm just gonna place that there and we'll go down here and click the plus and we'll add some text so we know we have a guest and I'll call this one guest. And then I'm going to type guest in here, click OK, and move it to above my guest. Obviously, these are both me. Instead of sending the link to another person's phone, I just send it to myself. But you can add anyone that you want in this exact fashion. You just send that link to their phone. You can use, you know, whatever method you want. And when they connect, you can use their camera just like this to add them as a guest. This is a really, really easy way to add a guest into your live stream. Now, once you have your guests added in here, you may notice that their audio is out of sync or something like that. The easiest way to fix that is to go ahead and click the gear next to the guest audio in the mixer 
and then go to advanced audio features and then where it says guest you can go ahead and use the sync offset to make sure that their voice is lining up and this should help to sync up their audio so there won't be any kind of noticeable difference between their talking or not but this probably isn't something that's actually going to happen the only reason why it would is if either you or your guest have a poor connection but it's nice to know how to fix in case it does happen now if this video helped you out be sure to let me know in the comments that helps other people find this video as well and if you want to learn about my favorite plugins for OBS, you should check this video out right here. If you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.